This is the story of the cholera outbreak on Broad Street in London in 1854. First, let's meet a very crucial person to this story. Meet British physician John Snow. Born in 1813, Snow started practicing medical education at a young age. At 14, he was an apprentice for a surgeon. After that, Snow moved to London to start his formal medical education, and in 1844, he graduated from the University of London. Something Snow is known for is making ether and chloroform a safer and more effective drug. He gave chloroform to Queen Victoria when she gave birth to both her son and her daughter, Leopold and Beatrice, in 1853 and 1857. Although these discoveries were definite advances to medical science, Dr. Snow is most noted for his discoveries during the cholera outbreak in 1854. There are four different ways to be exposed to an environmental impact or disease. Respiratory injection, skin contact, or ingestion. In the case of cholera, people thought it was air or water, respiration or ingestion. During this time, most people assumed that the cholera disease was airborne, but Snow was some of the few that didn't believe the assumption was true and argued that it entered the body through ingestion. He had no proof that cholera was an airborne disease until 1854 when the cholera outbreak started in London. Through careful in investigation with plotting cases on a map of the area, he was able to identify a water pump on Broad Street where the disease was transmitted, therefore proving that the disease wasn't airborne but waterborne instead even though the theory wasn't really accepted until the 1860s. The housing was bad in London, and the streets were a complete dump. It was extremely crowded because there were more people than there were housing, and multiple people would cram into one household. Covered in trash and humid waste, and more sick people, the living conditions were part of the reason for people's illnesses. The trash even got into the London's water supply. When the people of London drank the water, they got sick. The cholera outbreak was sudden and harsh. During the first three days, 127 people who lived on or around Broad Street died. It varied from men to women, adults to children and poor to rich. It was a random pick of whoever lived near Broad Street, which is why it was so hard to find the cause of this illness. Within a week, most people left their houses, leaving their houses locked, and the streets were completely empty. Very few stayed, mostly because they couldn't afford to leave. It was almost like the Great Plague was happening all over again. Fatal attacks reached 500 by September 10th, and the death rate rose by 12.8%. That was more than double than the rest of London. It would have been worse, but luckily Dr. Snow figured out why and how the cholera outbreak started so that he could stop it. How did Dr. Snow figure this out, though? Well, when he first started his research, he already had an idea that the disease was spread by water but needed a starting point, so he started interviewing families and victims. His investigation took him to the corner of Broad Street, where he found a pump fairly close to where most of the deaths had occurred. The victims who lived in the houses farther away from that pump even said that they used it because it was on their w children's way to school, or maybe the water tasted better. After finding the pump, he took samples of the water from the pump outlet and examined the water under a microscope. It contained white flocculent particles, as Dr. Snow called it. Later on, he was convinced that the water from the pump was the source of the disease. So he did an experiment to test his thoughts, and the town agreed to let the pump handle be removed from the pump. 
when they did, the spread of cholera drastically reduced. In our society today, we have advanced in science to find ways to diagnose illnesses and its sources. They are much different from when Dr. Snow was around with the old primitive methods. But some of the advances in medical science wouldn't have happened if Dr. Snow didn't figure out the cause of the cholera outbreak. That's why he is an important person to medical science and history.